So today we have a very nice geometrical theorem. It is known as the Ptolemy's theorem. It basically states a very beautiful relation between the side lengths and the diagonal of a cyclic quadrilateral. So there are two equations which satisfy this relation. The first equation is the product of AC plus the product of BD is equals to the product of the diagonals. And the second equation is AD plus BC divided by AB plus CD equals to X upon Y. So this is Anmol Mishra and now let us see the solution. How can we prove these both relations? So first of all we can see that there are two equations which satisfy the relation. Now why there is a requirement of two equations? So the thing is very simple. The first one looks very neat and clean whereas the second one is looking quite messy. But to prove the first equation is very tricky whereas to prove the second equation is quite easy. So we will start the solution by proving the first one. Okay. And to do so we will utilize the fact that the quadrilateral ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. This means all the four vertices of this quadrilateral lie on the circumference. Okay. So first of all we can see that AD is chord of the circle and it is substanding an angle ACB on its circumference. Okay. Now from the same chord there is another angle substanded that is angle ADB. So what we can see that from a same chord there are two angles substanded in the same segment. So it's a very common theorem that angle substanded by the same chord in the same segment is equal. So the angle ADB would be equals to angle ACB and let it be equals to theta. Okay. Now similarly if we take DC as the common chord again the angle DAC and the angle DBC are substanded. So this both would be equal. So let it be equals to angle K. Now similarly taking DA as the common chord, the angle ACD and the angle ABD would be equal. Let it be equals to alpha. And similarly taking CB as the common chord, the angle CDB and the angle CAB would be equal and let it be equals to beta. So here we have utilized the fact that the quadrilateral is a cyclic quadrilateral and we mark the angles. Now let us do the most trickiest part that will lead us to the answer that AC plus BD is equals to XY and that is constructing a very beautiful line segment. So let the intersection point where the diagonal meet be point O. Okay. Now what I will do is I'll just remove the theta from here and draw one more line segment DE. I'm just making the diagram a bit more clear. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to construct a line segment DE. Now what makes this construction special is that the line segment DE will form an angle beta with the side length AD. This means I've constructed a line segment DE such that the angle ADE is equals to beta. Now remember that the complete angle over here was equals to theta some part of it is equals to beta therefore the remaining part that is the angle e d o would be equals to theta minus beta okay now again look carefully that the angle e d c so here we have theta minus beta plus beta so the complete angle will turn out to be theta okay so this was the required construction now let us mark some of the things so look carefully in the triangle a d e the internal two angles are beta and k Therefore, by exterior angle, this particular angle over here would be beta plus k. And the angle EDC is already equals to theta. And the angle ECD is equals to alpha. So carefully take this triangle that is the triangle EDC. Angle E of this is equals to beta plus k. Angle D of this triangle is equals to theta. And the angle C is equals to alpha. Okay. Now on top of it take another triangle that is the triangle ADB. Now in the triangle ADB the value for angle A is beta plus K. You can look over here beta plus K. The value for angle D. So in the triangle ADB the value of angle D that was the complete angle and in the beginning that angle was equals to theta. So the value for angle D is equals to theta. And the value for angle B in this triangle is equals to alpha. Look over here. So what we can observe between these two triangles is that three of their angles are equal. 
This means these two triangles are similar by angle, angle, angle. And also the correspondence is correct. Therefore, the triangle A, D, B is similar to the triangle E, D, C by the angle, angle, angle. Okay. So, once two triangles are equal, the ratio of their sides also become equal. Therefore, AD upon ED is equals to AB upon EC is equals to DB upon DC. Now, here we have also marked the lens as variables. So, let us utilize that over here. So, the length of AD in this diagram is equals to A upon the length of ED. So, E to D is nothing. So, let it be ED only. This thing is equals to AB upon EC. So, in this diagram, AB is having a length B upon EC. So, in this diagram, EC is having no length. So, let it be EC only. And this thing is equals to DB upon DC. So, in the diagram, the length of DB is the diagonal, the yellow diagonal. So, the length is X upon DC. So, the diagram DC is the purple length that is having a value D. So, here we have taken the same ratio but as variables. Okay. Now, let us see if there are other triangles that are similar. So, now look carefully that in the triangle EDC, the angle D is equals to theta and the angle C is equals to alpha. Therefore, by exterior angle, this particular angle over here becomes addition of them both. So, theta plus alpha is this angle. Okay. So, look carefully in this triangle that is the triangle AED that is present over here. In this triangle, the value for angle A is K. The value for angle E is theta plus alpha that we have just got. And the value for angle D is equals to beta. Okay. Now with this, take the other triangle that is the triangle D, C, B that is present over there. In this triangle, the value for angle D is beta. The value for angle C is theta plus alpha. And the value for angle B is equals to k. So we can see that in these two triangles, three of their angle is equal, but there is a mistake in the correspondence. So what I will do is instead of taking the triangle DCB, I will take it as BCD, just the order change. BCD. So angle B was equals to k and angle D was equals to beta. So we can see that these two triangles, all the three angles are equal and the correspondence is also correct. Means the first angle equals to first angle, the second equals to second, third equals to third. This is the thing that we call as the correspondence. Okay. So now we have the triangle A E D similar to the triangle B C D by the angle angle property. So again their sides would be ratio and that would be equal. So A E upon B C would be equals to E D upon C D and this thing would be equals to A D upon B D. Now let us see if they are variables or not. So in this diagram, the length of AE is AE only. So let it be AE upon BC. So in the diagram, the length of BC is the blue line that is C equals to AD upon CD. So in this diagram, the length of ED is ED only. So let it be ED upon CD. So the length of CD is the purple line having a length D equals to AD. So in the diagram, the length of AD is the green length that is A upon BD. So the length of BD is the yellow diagonal that is having a value X. Okay, so here we have got the second ratio and the previous ratio is present over there. So now we will start the simplification work. This is the second equation and this is the equation number one. Okay, so in the second equation, I will compare this ratio with this ratio. So when I will do the cross multiplication, I will get the product of AC is equals to AE multiplied with X. Okay. And the second equation, if I will compare the middle ratio with the third ratio, so doing the cross multiplication will give me product of BD is equals to X into EC. Now let us add these two equations that we have just got. So the left hand side will turn out to be AC plus BD and this thing is equals to AE multiplied with X plus EC multiplied with X. I can take X common. So inside the bracket we will get AE plus EC. Now look in this diagram. See the length of AE is over here and the length of EC is over there. So addition of this two will give me the complete pink length that is having a value Y. So as per the diagram the value for AE plus EC 
is equals to ac and that we have already taken as a variable y so here we have got this thing that a into c plus b into d is equals to product of x y and remember the first equation that we need to prove is the same thing so here we have proved the first equation that gives a relation between the length of the diagonal and the side length of the cyclic quadrilateral now let us see the proof of the second equation so for that i am taking another diagram same to same the same circle the same quadrilateral with the same markings so now what i will do first of all is i will mark the same angles that we have got in the first one that is this as theta this as theta this as beta this as beta this as equals to k this is also k this as equals to alpha and this is also alpha okay now we can see that two of the diagonals are meeting at one of the point so because of this intersection they are getting bisected not equally but they are getting bisected so instead of labeling the complete length as x and y i will label this small small length so let the center of this intersection be point o this is not the center of the circle but just the point where the diagonals intersect okay so i will take the length of do as a variable p the other one as q this one as r and this one as s okay now carefully look in this triangle that is the triangle d o a in this triangle the value for angle d is theta and the value for angle a is k okay and with this triangle take the triangle c o b in this triangle the value for angle c is theta and the value for angle b is k so two triangles two of their angle is equal hence they are similar by angle angle so the triangle d o a becomes similar to the triangle c o b by the angle angle property and the third angle is also equal that you can see by vertically opposite okay no worries now let us take their ratio equal therefore d o upon c o equals to o a upon o b and this thing is equals to d a upon c b now you can see that we have already taken this length as variable so instead of this putting the variable so the length of do is p upon co that we have taken as q equals to oa that is s upon ob that is r equals to da that is a and cb that is c okay now similarly we'll take the other triangle that is the triangle doc that is the top triangle in this triangle the value for angle d is beta and the value for angle c is alpha now with this triangle i will take the triangle a o b that is the bottom triangle in this triangle the value for angle a is beta and the value for angle b is alpha so again this two triangle becomes similar by angle angle property so i am just clearing this thing from here the triangle d o c is similar to the triangle a o b by the angle angle property and the third angle is also equal that is by vertically opposite that is why this angle angle property exists two angles also then also they are similar okay so in this triangle also they are similar so ratio becomes equal so do upon ao equals to oc upon ob is equals to dc upon ab now let us fulfill these things by their variables so the length of do is p upon the length of ao that is s equals to oc that we have taken as q upon ob that is r equals to dc that we have taken as d upon ab that we have taken as b so here we have the second ratio equation and this one was the first one now using this we need to show the proof of the second equation that is x upon y so that is x upon y equals to ad plus bc so ad plus bc divided by ab plus cd okay so using these two equations that we have we need to show the proof of this one okay now as per our diagram the value for x is going to be p plus r and the value for y is going to be q plus s okay so look in this first equation and in this particularly look at the middle and the last term that is s upon r equals to a upon c so if i do the cross multiplication i will get the value for r that would be c into s upon a okay and in the second equation look carefully we have p upon s equals to d upon b so comparing the first one with the third one we get the value for p as ds upon b okay now again take the first equation and in that the middle and the last one again 
So this time if I do the cross multiplication, I will get the value for S as equals to AR upon C. In the first equation, I compared this both for this one also and for this one also. And now in the second equation, we have Q upon R equals to D upon B. So doing the cross multiplication over here will give me the value for Q that would be DR upon B. Now what we currently have is the value of R, P, S and Q. Now why we require that? Because the value for x is p plus r so x equals to p plus r so now we have the value for p as ds upon b plus r that is having a value cs upon a from this both i can take s common so s taken common now i can take the lcm so a multiplied in this term b multiplied in that term so finally the result would be s multiplied with ad plus bc and this all divided by ab this is the value for x okay now the value for y is s plus q again i can add the terms so the value for y is s plus q the value for s so y equals to so the value of s is ar upon c plus q that is having a value dr upon b i can take r common from this both terms so r common i can take the lcm so i multiply b in this term and c in that term so finally the value for y would be ab plus cd and this all divided by bc and multiplied with r okay now what we required is the ratio of x upon y so now x upon y would be equals to s multiplied with ad plus bc divided by ab upon r multiplied with ab plus cd divided by bc now b and b got cancelled out so finally this thing would be s upon r into c upon a into ad plus bc divided by ab plus cd now look in this first equation that we have over here in this equation the value for s upon r is a upon c so i can replace s upon r with a upon c over here so s upon r replaced with a upon c so now over here a and a c and c got cancelled out so we finally get x upon y equals to ad plus bc divided by ab plus cd and this is the proof of the second equation so this was my method to prove both of the equations if you have any other method other than this or else if you have any other question that you think i should try do comment below and if it's hard to comment you can email me or else you can send it to me on my instagram the link is in the description